tell you why. Pedro do Sal means. Any of you understand what it means, Pedra do Sal? No. Can I say it in Portuguese? No. Pedra means stone, sal means salt, right? So this is considered the salt stone. But why? It, it has it salt as in sugar low that didn't have sugar? No, right? Yeah. Why, it, why is it called Pedra do Sal? Any idea now? No. I have no idea. Salt daddy? No? Sugar daddy? Sugar no. daddy, that word again. <laughs> <laughs> so, the point of being called Pedro de Sal is because this was a huge stop during the slavery trade for people to bring salt from the, the ships throughout the city of Rio de Janeiro. This stone is an important landmark for the commerce that we had in town. So people would come here from the ships that were right across the street where we came from. With the tons of salt on their back, people, I mean enslaved people, would come with the salt. And they would storage this in some of the commerce that were here and around this whole mountain, which is called Morro da Conceição. Okay? So, since we had a long movement of black people throughout this region, they started living here, creating here, and also having fun here. Black people dominated this space, and they were producing the first samba parties on the street in this region. Okay, and until nowadays, we have a very good roda de samba, which is a samba party, the celebration that we do on the streets that happens here every Monday and we had another one happening at every Friday as well but it's not going on anymore but I mean if you have a chance to come on another time to Brazil to visit that I would suggest you definitely to come it's amazing why doesn't it happen anymore we Good. now have a mayor in, in Rio that's super Christian and he's trying to reduce all forms of uh, black expression in the city. So there are a few samba parties that he's trying to say they're not legalized just because they make a lot of noise, just because they are... Just basically because he doesn't want it because he's Christian. So he's trying to impeach the parties that we, we, we have. But again, as we said, uh, black resistance finds its way also in cultural expression, so we will figure out a way of keeping all those parties on. Uh, so we usually change this mural. This is a beautiful one because it also expresses the, the black culture. As we said, most of the cultural expressions in Brazil are black. Chorinho is black, samba is black, capoeira is black, and also the jazz that you guys have is black. So it's just an expression of all that culture together, as you may see, right? I hope you finally have a chance to come here on another day where we are actually either playing capoeira or playing samba. But what we are going to see today is also pretty. Uh, two other graffitis that, that I would like to show you are this one, this little girl over here. It is written, Fresco é lindo, feio é seu preconceito, which means the kinky hair is pretty, ugly is your prejudice. And this other one over here, which is very significant for us, because this man is Zumbi dos Palmares. He was the black leader that actually started building quilombos. Quilombos is the word that we have in Brazil to produce a, a, a special community for enslaved that wanted to just keep slavery. So they would find a place inside the forest and create a new community for those people and be constantly escaping the system. So he was the leader of a great uh, community called Quilombo dos Palmares and his name was Zumbi, right? So he's a very special figure in our culture as well that's why he's here and also this is a stencil I don't know if you're familiar with the name stencil but this is a stencil of a friend of mine this one over here it is funny and 
a lot of Brazilians don't get it, but I will explain that to you. It's the same guy that actually did the other one over there. Tem a mola foca do menor, which is like who is making the the, bo the little boy who, who is making him to be a criminal? Because in Brazil we complain a lot that little boys are criminals, especially little black boys are criminals. But who is the one giving him the tools to be a criminal? So he's asking us, what do we have to do with the the tools that we are giving to this guy to instead of being in school, instead of being studying, just to be using those tools to do something else in his life. The other one is funny because we usually see in Brazil the tag Vendice Carne de Rã, which is like a frog meat. They sell it over there. Just. <laughs> So uh, the other one is basically saying that they are selling frog meat, which is a thing quite popular in Rio. But instead of putting frog meat, he's saying we are selling black meat. And instead of putting the real number of the frog meat, he's putting the number 198, which is the number of police. So if you want to buy black meat, you just call the police. That's, that's the joke that he's saying. It's a critic to say that police brutality in Brazil is so real that if you just want to buy a piece of our body, you just should call them instead of being calling them to ask for protection, right? So that's it. It's a lot of, um, in this entire area, it's just a lot of uh, criticism and a lot of black community rethinking new ways of life in Rio. So that's why it's so special and I really wanted to feel the energy of this place, yeah. especially in the restaurant that we are going to visit now.